Yep, I have a Valentino Rocks Start Edition and I'm not embarrassed or ashamed. Hi everyone and welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. So this video is part three of inside my shoes, clothing, accessories, handbags, and of course shoes. This is where I'm taking you today inside my shoe wardrobe. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. But more importantly, have you switched on that notification button? Because I have some really exciting news. Because you've loved these videos so much and you've given me such amazing feedback and comments and engagement, I've actually decided, especially for you, I'm going to be doing regular capsule wardrobe fashion videos. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, but make sure you switch on that notification button so you know the moment I have published a video on capsule wardrobe fashion because I'm all about investing in quality over quantity and having beautiful pieces that make you feel fantastic and that you know how to own your signature style. Now before I show you my shoe collection, I want to let you know that I actually try and apply the minimalism principle around my shoes. These shoes really do form part of the base foundation of my capsule wardrobe collection. All the pieces are really versatile and I really thought long and hard before purchasing any of these shoes, but I'm actually really quite excited to show them to you because I'm just a little bit proud of how they all look and how they all come together. Anyway, let me know what you think about my collection and let me know if you have any suggestions for my style or things or colors or cuts or brands that you think would work really well, things that I need to learn about because you guys always help me learn and grow more. So I always appreciate your comments and feedback. All right, you guys better come with me and see what's inside my shoe wardrobe. All right, come with me. Now, I actually store my shoes um, in a separate wardrobe. Um, there's no more space left in my wardrobe in my bedroom. So I actually store them all here. So this is my capsule wardrobe collection. You will notice that all my shoes are tan or black. They're neutrals. And that means it goes with everything in my wardrobe. I'm never in a position where I don't have the right shoes to wear with an outfit. This covers all my bases, which is the key foundation of a capsule wardrobe, is to have a foundation built with lots of neutrals. Now you'll notice on the top level up here are all my brown, beige, neutral colored strappy shoes. I have two pairs of strappy shoes. Now these ones are Davelina and I think I bought these on sale. They were like I think $100 or something close to it. These are fantastic. They're sexy, they're strappy and they're kind of like the Christian Louboutin ones because they've got these beautiful little studs in here. I get lots of comments on these and having a strap around the ankle means they're nice and safely on my foot because I'm not brilliant at walking in high heels. Now these bad boys are, um, they're Gucci and before um, you think, oh wow, I want to let you know, I actually bought them from the Woodbury Common Outlets in New York when I was um, on holiday there probably about six or seven years ago. These are super comfortable, they're very high but because they've got a nice thick block heel, I can stand in them for quite a long period of time. But this is what I mean, when you buy pieces that are actually really well made, they last a really long time and these guys have been worn so much and they do not need to be replaced anytime soon. These guys still have a lot of life left in them. Now these are my most recent purchase, they're Valentino Rock Stud um, wedges. Now I have been wearing these for so long but my other pair of um, wedges were still going strong so I didn't feel the need or think it was appropriate to replace them yet. However, recently they finally died and I took them back to the shoemaker for like the fifth time. He's like, let it go. They're done. Like I can't keep on gluing them up anymore. Like you need to buy some new shoes. So that finally gave me the green light to go ahead and buy these. And I actually bought them when I was in um, Los Angeles. Um, and these are so incredibly comfortable. They're great for wearing to events where I'm going to be on the grass because I don't sink into a heel. And being a wedge, they are so incredibly comfortable. And that neutral color goes with everything in my wardrobe. Perfect for summertime. Actually, I love these so much that I'm actually thinking of purchasing a pair of the same, but in black. However, they're quite expensive, so it's going to take me a while to save up for these. But 
let me know what you think. All right, uh, next level, you will see that I have a continuation um, little addiction problem um, with the Valentino Rock Stud shoes. Um, I actually have another pair down here, which I'll show you in a second, but these shoes are fantastic, and there's a reason why I love these so much. Um, they are so incredibly comfortable. They're not too high. My limit is 100 centimeters if I'm going to wear them like all day. And being so with so many straps, it keeps your foot firmly strapped in to this shoe. They're so comfortable. Now, on that note of buying good quality shoes, whenever I get a pair of shoes, I always take them to the boot maker before I wear them. I know that's going to sound really weird that I go and get my shoes fixed before wearing them, but this is incredibly important. By getting the toes done and the heels done, it means this shoe will last so much longer and it will stop the toes from being scuffed and looking tired, tatty and tacky. Well worth your time finding a really good quality boot maker and investing up front in a good pair of shoes in their protection because these now will last so much longer. Now also on that note about these shoes, um, I bought these second hand. Yep, I probably saved about six or seven hundred dollars by buying them second hand. Um, they'd barely been worn when they arrived. They're in perfect condition and they still are in perfect condition and I absolutely love them. So I have them in the lower height for those days where I know I'm going to be on my feet for way too long. And this is the, the kitten heel and it is again so comfortable. It's the patent version which really adds that kind of chic, glamorous feel to any outfit. Also, it looks great with jeans. And then I have just the normal, plain um, leather that's not patent. And again, strapped in, really good condition. These actually do. I need to take them to the boot maker because I just scuffed the toe of them the other day. But, yep, I have a Valentino Rock Stud Edition and I'm not embarrassed or ashamed. All right, next level down are my strappy black shoes. Um, everyone needs to own a pair of black strappy shoes because they will go with absolutely everything. You can wear them with pants, you can wear them with a beautiful big maxi dress, you can wear them with a cute little shift mini dress. They make you feel like a million dollars when you have a great pair of shoes on. Now these I bought in London and I bought them on sale. I think I bought them at about 60% off, which was so good. And guess what? They're, vel they're Velcro, so they're really quick and easy to get on, put them on, and run out the door in a hurry. Now, they are a little bit higher than my regulation limit, um, but it's not too bad because I'm completely strapped in. But this is definitely a shoe that I would probably wear to a restaurant more than standing around all day. Next pair are my Aqua Azuras. Um, this is more my like regulation height, not too bad. Um, really comfortable and you know what these are really feminine and pretty I love how they wrap around like with laces around the ankle again um, really pretty like frilly bits adore these and I have been tempted to buy these in bright red because I saw a picture of um, Olivia Palomo who is one of my favorite um, like style star icons and they looked incredible on her but you know what I have to be honest with myself I don't wear much red and it doesn't really form the base level of my color scheme or my color palette in my capsule wardrobe so I had to be strict and tough with myself but I was tempted. All right next level down is my classic black shoe collection. Um, another pair of Acro Azuras. I love Acro Azuras. They suit my foot really well. Um, great height. I wear these to the races. I wear these to work. I wear these to Channel 9. They're a classic pump. You can never go wrong with these. And again, when I bought these, I went and got the sole taken care of and the tip and the toe. And that has just made these last so long. These do not need to be replaced anytime soon. Next up is another pair of Valentino Rock Stud shoes. Um, these are great flats. For those days where I'm really tired and I want to look smart and dressed up, but I don't want to put on a pair of heels, these are fantastic because they still make a dress look really pretty, really elegant and really sophisticated. Um, flats, really comfortable, secured and locked in, a little bit of elastic here as all the rock studs do. But again, see how I always get these shoes sold properly. And then these ones I also bought on sale. I bought them in London recently. They're um, Gian Vito Rossi and um, really comfortable. And I love the um, acrylic um, uh, strap at the back or PVC, whatever it's called. Um, Kitten heel again for those days where I just don't feel like wearing a high heel. All right, next level down are my ballet flats. Now I'm actually missing a pair of ballet flats here. They're over at Tom's house. Um, so I didn't have time to go and grab them and show you, but they're just a basic black Chanel ballet flat. 
Now these are what I pretty much live in um, Monday to Friday. I wear them with jeans, I wear them with pencil skirts, I wear them to work. Um, when I am carrying Rocco around because I'm his personal chairlift, um, this is what I wear. Now these again, I bought them second hand. Um, I bought them for I think around about $250, $300, but they cost in the shops are between eight to a, eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Again, they came in perfect condition, and funnily enough, the person I bought them from had also followed like that principle of taking care of your shoes and getting them sold. So they actually arrived um, uh, already sold. I didn't even need to take them to a boot maker. And um, being these two classic colors, as I said, my black pair of Toms, um, and you know what? These ballet flats last a really long time. These ones are actually, I think, about six years old, and they are starting to look a little bit hard and dirty, but I can take them to my bootmaker, and he can do an amazing job at cleaning them up. All right, next up are my summer sandals. Um, these are shoes that I put on when I have my toes freshly painted, summertime where it's hot, and um, starting up with, again, Chanel's. I think they were a birthday present or a Christmas present a long time ago. These would be, again, I think about seven years old um, and they're in fantastic condition again always sold classic black go with so much my wardrobe great with the little sparkles the little touch of metal and sparkles to get that evening feel if I want to wear them with an evening like big black maxi dress super comfortable these are also a recent purchase from I bought these in London with Tom he almost killed me when he saw how much they cost um, that's okay because my money we're financially independent of each other However, these are great because you know what they get, I can put these on in a hurry, I just slide my shoe in, don't need to like do any straps up or buckles up, they're great. Really comfortable and being a tan colour, again they go with so many things in my wardrobe and they're great for like when I just want to throw on a sarong and a swimsuit and throw these on by the pool, absolutely perfect. I really love these and these actually come in other colours, again I'm tempted to buy them in other colours but the, to be honest I don't actually need them, I feel like this collection is pretty complete. All right, next up is a touch of leopard print. As you guys know, I'm really fussy about my animal prints. It's got to be perfect, otherwise I just won't buy it. However, I um, saw these on a girlfriend who had them in black, and then I found these. And again, I found these for about, I think, 60% off, which I put in a previous video. Um, again, really comfortable, slide them on quickly, um, and just got that little touch of fun, which kind of helps break up all the basics and neutrals in my wardrobe. So I love these. Next up are another pair of Chanel sandals. Now, these I'm holding on to for dear life. Um, I was in Chanty in France earlier this year and I was catching a train and I had a really heavy suitcase that landed on my foot and ripped these um, apart. So they've been like gently restitched together by the world's most amazing um, shoemaker in Sydney. However, I've been told be careful with these, be delicate and lots of TLC for these shoes because they don't have that much life left in them. But you know what, I love these so much. And not only are they are neutrals, they've got this gorgeous, beautiful touch of the pearls in here. But these are probably one of my favourite sandals of all. So I'm absolutely devastated that I have very limited time left with these shoes. All right, next up is probably the cheapest pair of shoes in my wardrobe. I think these were like $20 and they are so good. I'm not a massive fan of thongs. Um, like I love heavy arms on other people, but I just feel like on me, they just look wrong. Um, but these are my witchery um, rubber equivalents of thongs. Um, they're great because you can wear them in the water, um, at the beach, it doesn't matter at all. They were really cheap. They, I believe they, they do these every single year, so they're easy to get hold of if you like them, but they are kind of got a Valentino touch because they've got these little studs in here um, made of rubber that kind of like give that kind of chic, edgy look. So I, I absolutely love these. And I actually had these in nude as well, but um, a girlfriend of mine um, saw them on me and loved them and borrowed them, and I said, you know what, you can keep them. All right, next up are my sneakers. Um, I only have one pair of sneakers. Um, I use Nikes because my foot is a weird foot and I, my foot goes numb in so many other brands of shoes. So Nikes are the ones that work with me. I only have one pair because you can only wear one pair of sneakers at the same time. And um, when they wear out, when all the tread wears out, that is when I replace them. You will not find like six or seven pairs of running shoes, even though I go to the gym and exercise numerous times per week. I only need one pair of sneakers. Next up are my like everyday running around shoes, you know, to the park or, um, you know, hanging out with Rocco. These are Lacoste. I always wear Lacoste. I love them. Um, there's something so iconic and timeless and classic about these shoes. And 
that one of the ways I get these shoes lasting as long as possible is every now and again I throw them into the washing machine and they come out looking brand new. Actually these are due for a bit of a wash but um, so incredibly comfortable and these are so well priced. I think these are about $120, $130. I'm sure you'll find them cheaper on some certain websites but these are absolutely fantastic. I love these. I've been wearing the cost ever since I can remember. The next one up are my espadrilles. These are um, Kenzo leather espadrilles. I bought these in Dubai um, last year. Again, like they're probably the, another breakout pair from my classic colors, but being a light pink, they work with all the colors in my wardrobe. Great with little denim cutoffs, summer skirts, sarongs, great for the beach as well. Um, really fantastic shoe. I love these and super comfortable as well because shoes are supposed to be comfortable. All right, so we're getting towards the end of this video. Remember, I want to know what you think is missing from this capsule shoe collection. But first up are my Burberry gum boots. I don't get that much opportunity to wear these other than winter or if Tom and I and Rocco are going into the country. But they're also great for storing those shoe bags um, uh, for when I'm traveling and also the sock bags for my handbags if I'm not using them. So it's a great way of keeping my wardrobe looking nice and neat and tidy, but using them also to help keep the um, gum boots nice and strong. And then of course I have a little cute winter booty, which these were on sale again, I think they're Tony Bianco perhaps or Whitner, uh, or Wanted actually. Um, really great classic little booty, um, which I can wear with stockings um, for winter time, um, with a mini skirt or with pants, really comfortable. And then finally, um, again, another pair of, I think, Wanted shoes perhaps. Um, these are thigh high or knee high boots. Um, I don't really wear these that often, but only in winter time because it's too hot at other times of the year but these are fantastic with like thick black opaque stockings and a cute little mini skirt and Tom absolutely um, loves it when I wear these so I can't be going getting rid of these anytime soon. Alright so now you've seen inside my entire shoe collection bar one pair of classic black ballet flats. Let me know what you think of this video by putting a comment in the comments box below. And as I said, I'm going to be making regular capsule wardrobe fashion videos, so make sure you subscribe, but most importantly, make sure you switch on that notification button so you know the moment I have uploaded and published a new video for you. Alright everyone, if you're thinking of buying some new shoes, make sure you invest in quality over quantity. Always shop mindfully and only buy what you love, value, use and appreciate. And make sure if you're going to buy those shoes, you've achieved your other financial goals first. Alright, ciao everyone, I'll see you next week.